Hey guys! Hi guys! What a special event of a video today. Yes. Something that comes along once a year, but it mm -hmm. used to be around every month and everybody loved it when you were in the Funko Pop community early on. Mm -hmm. This is, I guess, three years ago now? I, it has been three years and everybody Jeez. used to fight over this. This thing used to sell. It was the first thing that would sell out quickly when it had mm -hmm. to do with Funko. Right. And it would sell out in seconds. Nowadays, everything sells out really quickly. Back then, the F-Box from Fugitive Toys was the thing that everybody wanted in the community. Yep. They gave you a good deal on pops, usually they think they in the box, doing a couple mm -hmm. other things like that. And then they always give you a chance at being like the special winner. Right. Where you get a giant box yes. of stuff, which we did win once. Yeah, did, did one, we, once one, or twice, maybe? I don't know, maybe it was twice. I don't know. I know like, at least once. Yeah, they did like one every ten people mm -hmm. had or something, or yeah. something like that. So, anyways, here's the box. I think we paid 30 bucks for it, if I'm not I mistaken. Think so. so uh let's get into it. Let's see what we got. This was the first box that really honked people off in the photo yes. community. <laughs> if you guys didn't know about the F-Box, the reason Fugitive Toys stopped doing it is because people were getting like childish about it. Yes. Uh, death threats to Fugitive Toys and stuff for it selling out. I mean, mm -hmm. you can see that in the community now. People get mad because things sell out. They, they, they're looking to blame somebody other than it's just really popular sometimes. And the occasional flippers, obviously. Yeah. But. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's open the box. This is what it looks like on the inside of it. It's like a box in a box. A box in a box. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have a bunch of pops. They're all pops. Everything in this all box right. is pops. I don't know if you can see this or not. Chances are we probably have everything in here. Probably. I don't know. We have see. so many. So you can see pops in here, you can see pops in here. So let's, let's get into it. We did just order we did just order Yukon Cornelius during the Black Friday sale at Fugitive mm -hmm. Toys, so we were lucky to have that. Thank you, Fugitive Toys, for offering yes, that up. thank you. But, uh, can we get Misfit Elephant sometime? Yeah, you have that laying around the shop? <laughs> kind of need that one. All right, here we go. All right, moment of truth. Uh, you pull first. Okay, I'll pull the first one that I know we already have. Yep. The Entertainment Earth exclusive Green Batman. Of course, you know I'm going to have this one. This oh, was an obvious buy as soon as it happened. Actually, the Rainbow Batman set was one of the first times in Funko, I remember, in Funko Pop collecting that they had like a, an exclusive, a big exclusive drop like that mm -hmm. of multiple yeah. pops. Of a lot in one line. Especially with Batman, so I was, I had to buy it right away. It was obviously a cash grab. Yes. But for a Batman fan, I liked it because it, it reminded me of a time in a comic book, so I liked it. So a cool green Batman pop there. So up next, it looks like we have a Loki with a helmet. This is the Fugitive Toys exclusive, the Frozen Loki, so yeah. we were lucky enough to get this one. Um, so we already have it, but that's okay because it's a pretty good one and I yeah. like it and it glows in the dark, so it's pretty awesome. It is one of their cooler exclusives that yeah. came out. I still remember when it came out. This gives me, this, like, it's like flashbacks to me I when know. these things it's happen. Like, I remember where I was at in yeah. my life when we got this. Fugitive Toys is actually, they have my favorite exclusives. Whenever yeah, they, they had do. exclusives, they were my favorite. Now granted, they don't have as many nowadays because Funko sort of changed things up as far mm -hmm. as who gets them now. They didn't used to have exclusives in these big shops. They used to sort of have the small shop exclusives, which is when Fiji Toys always came through. Love DC. All, it seemed like their exclusives were thought about. Yes, definitely. That's what I like. If you're a DC fan or even a Marvel fan, it just seemed like they thought about the exclusives, which um, I appreciate. You want to go ahead and grab the next one out? Because we don't have that one, actually. Um, it is Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games with her bow. We do not have this. We don't have any of the Hunger no Games Hunger pops. Games. No Hunger Games. I'm so surprised because I love the books. They were one of my favorite series, and I absolutely adored the movies. So I guess now that I have this, it's the start of the line. I have to finish it. And that's how it is. So. Or he, she's the most popular, or most one. You should have that one if you're gonna have yeah, any of them. So yeah, yeah, I know. mean definitely. <laughs> but I'm a big fan of like the Katniss, the Girl on Fire, where her dress goes up yeah. in flames. That was that one of my cool. favorite scenes. I like so Elizabeth kinda, Banks. Who, what, what was her character, Elizabeth? Effie Banks? Trinket. Her outfits were always <laughs> really crazy. I like yeah. the movies. I thought the movies were pretty good. I know. I'm sad that they're over. Alrighty, so that's that. Let's pull out this box because this box has a bunch of stuff in it. So, Lord, tell them what's inside of this. Well, the side of the box says Skyrim. So, <laughs> are they all Skyrim pops? Who knows? Should we do it like sort of a mystery? Let's kind of do it a mystery. No. I'll, I'll, I'll pull one out. First one, we have Greedo. <laughs> so this is the black box, obviously not the blue box, reissued one. This one came out about a year and a half ago, I think I remember I buying this we one we have too. three copies of Greedo We have quite now. a bit of Greedos. I like Greedo. <laughs> so uh, again, another uh, a rebuy for us, I <laughs> yeah. would say, but he is a cool looking pop. I, I gotta say, the, the look of this pop, I love so much, and I feel like if Funko redesigned them today, it wouldn't be as cool, because they have all this, this new design. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, this is, this is what Funko Pop was all about back in the day, like that, that very slim look, that it's not a whole lot going. Simple. Simple, yes. fun, uh, just, this is everything about the Greedo Pop. Alright, let's see who I'm going to get. It is Nord from the Nord Elder, from Elder Scrolls. Scrolls yeah. I honestly 
obviously haven't played this game. I know you've yeah. played it a little bit, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure about this character. So I'm gonna let you kind of take the wheel yeah, on I mean, this one. <laughs> it's a cool character, just like any other of those. Yeah. Um, I think the sculpt on this is really cool. Yeah, the actually. sculpt is cool. I love the beard. I like his helmet. I like how he has one horn Horns that's broke, broken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one didn't have a lot in the line. You only had three other characters in it. Uh, but I would say he's the coolest looking one in the lineup. I don't assume a very popular one. I don't think the Elder oh, Scrolls sold very well, I don't if I'm not mistaken. So. I don't know. All right, so I'm up next again? Yep. All right, let's see here. We got Alice in Wonderland uh, Alice. We actually don't have this one. This is the not. movie Alice in Wonderland. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have the regular Alice. Uh, another a cool one. I don't even think we've seen the newest movie. Alice Through the Looking Glass. We have not seen the movie, but I do know it's on Netflix because I added it, it to the queue the other day. Uh, okay, yeah. So yeah, we had not seen the newest one. This is the. This might have been the first one though. This is from the first movie. That's from the first movie. Yeah. Definitely. So we have seen it. Uh, cool movie. Of course, Tim Burton. You know how he does things. Just plain basic pop, but the dress mm -hmm. is done really nicely. The dress is beautiful. I love how you have all of the detail at the bottom yeah. of her dress. Yeah, really nice. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I got. Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Oh, cool. We don't actually have him. I wanted the we flock don't. one. I need the flock one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. The flock one would be cool. Yeah. This movie was so hilarious to me when we first watched it. And then every time I watched it again and again, I'm like, huh, that line's not quite as funny as it was the first time around. <laughs> I like Kung Fu Panda. I just, I'm not a huge fan of Jack, Jack Black. Jack Black, yeah. yeah. But I do like Kung Fu Panda. It's, but it's I like movie. this one. I like the pose, and I like how it's kind of in that. Bruce Lee yeah, fighting fight, pose. Man. Yeah, that's cool. It looks really good. It's a really good looking pop, mm -hmm. actually. Alrighty, so let's continue. We got two more left. This time we have Snowball from <laughs> Secret Life of Pets. I love this movie. I adored this movie. It was so funny. It was. This was maybe one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. Animated movies yeah. of the last couple years. That and I really like Zootopia since yeah. I kind of like in a way. Sometimes mm -hmm. you'll get that mixed up, but yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, Snowball. So Snowball was, of course, uh, the crazy one. Yeah, it's Kevin Hart, and I think Kevin Hart is hilarious. Yeah. So great job. One of my favorites. Good one. All right, I think this is last but not least. So no, let's... it's last. <laughs> There's well, no okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> it could be least. Oh my god, it's Olaf. Yes, it's Olaf. Oh, Frozen. One. Yeah, and That's this cool. one is limited edition. So we have Olaf, and then we have the little, is it a seagull, I think, or a pigeon? Um, I think it's a seagull. I don't know, but we just learned on the in the Disney Treasures box that that was a play off of Mary Poppins. That's right, we did. With the penguins. So now we so, know. Yeah, now we know. I like this. I'm, I think we have enough Olafs yes. out there in the realm and the Olaf world. Olaf should be retired for but good. But this one is pretty cool. I like how you get the, mm. the little bird with it as well. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's the actual Comic-Con sticker too. Right. That's not the one where you saw it in a store. This is the real 2015 exclusive Comic-Con sticker, which is cool. All right, so that was the Fugitive Toys F-Box. This is a box that comes around, it seems like, every Christmas. Yes. I was surprised we didn't get a Christmas pop in it. I know, typically we get a Christmas pop mm -hmm. or we get something that's Santa, holiday themed. Yeah, something, yeah. something holiday. Really, this was just a, a kind of a, a clearance pop box. Yeah, we're going to clean out our yeah. shelves box. <laughs> <laughs> Not that the value wasn't there. I right. mean, you're no, getting I mean, what? Seven, eight pops? Eight pops. Yeah, you're getting eight pops for 30 bucks. That's right. still a pretty good Actually, deal. Actually, no, nine. Nine? Yeah, I forgot Batman was there. Oh, yeah, nine, nine pops, pops for $30. So that's not a bad deal regardless of whether or not you like the pops or if you have the pops. Unfortunately, we did have a lot of pops. Mm -hmm. But there are a couple goodies if you don't have them, like right. the, the Frozen Loki and uh, the Olaf if you're a Frozen fan. But it's still cool to have a San Diego Comic-Con one um, if you don't have one of those. Uh, yeah, so overall, I would say the box isn't as good as what we've seen in prior years. Right. But I would still buy it every year. I always going to buy the F box yeah. because there's always that what if, that possibility yeah. of having something in there that you don't have or something that's rare. I mean, they put in a few pops that are limited mm -hmm. editions, so that chance of just having those. And I'm always going to support Fugitive Toys yeah. because, first off, they have amazing exclusives and I want them to continue to yes. have exclusives. They have the best exclusives, in my opinion. Although, Fugitive, if you're watching, please somehow get a White Lantern Hal Jordan. That's all I want. <laughs> he I talks about it all the time. <laughs> I want to add the White Lantern. Hal Jordan to the set. What are we gonna do without him? I don't know what to do without him. But anyways guys, that was Fugitive Toys F Box. Thank you guys for watching. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.